With puppies, it can be really easy to over-treat them because we always want to reward sit. Yes, good girl. The behavior that we want. And when they're in that early training stage, good girl, yes, sit. We're always rewarding them every time they perform the behavior that we want. Like this sit here, for example. Once they're 90% reliably doing this, yes, good girl. We then start to put it on a cue word, sit, for example, with the sit, yes, good girl. And again, we're continuously rewarding that. Then once we are absolutely sure, 90% that our dog is always reliably, sit, yes, good dog, and we're rewarding it continuously, we then need to start to move into a more irregular pattern of rewarding. That's when we're going into teaching phase. Now, the reason why this is important is because we want our dogs, when they're young and still learning, to understand that when they do the behavior, they always get a treat. So that's how they learn. They start to show it more and more. But once they're able to do it and they're really reliably showing it, we start to move it to say every four or maybe every five, then every second or every first time. So they then start to learn that they need to offer us that behavior or when we say sit they need to give us that behavior and that a reward is going to come every now and then because it actually incentivizes them to really perform it quicker harder smarter okay so we start to move to that irregular pattern of treating however I do find a lot of time with owners you're such a good girl yes is that we tend to stop rewarding our dogs with treats or with praise once they are reliably doing a behavior that we want and the problem with this is over time it's a bit like us going to work and not getting paid anymore dogs start to then forget about that behavior and go, well, I'm not gonna offer that to you. So that's why when they're a puppy, we reward them in early learning phase all the time. We then make it more intermittent. But one of the big things we need to remember in no matter what phase we're in is that we don't overfeed them treats. Now with puppies, we wanna make sure that we're giving them a treat that helps provide calcium, for example, the milky treats here, yes, good girl to help their growing bones and bodies, or a real soft chicken tender, because they've still got their puppy teeth, is also a good one that you'd break up. Break it up really nice and small. Because of a dog's total calorie intake, only 10% should be treats. It is okay to treat your dog just because you love them, to say thank you, or just to show them how much you care. But ideally, if we are puppy training, let's use it to mark and reward the behavior that we want so that we're constantly teaching them the things that we want them to do as adult dogs and not reinforcing behavior that we might not want later in life. If you'd like to find out more training tips for puppies, visit the Pooches at Play website, or if you'd like to find out more about the Vita Pet puppy treat range, visit theirs.